What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to roleplay as an FIB agent in GTA Online. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to get this cool looking FIB badge, which can be used on any outfits that you own. In this video, I'm using a black suit with a regular white shirt, so my character will look exactly like an FIB agent. And next, I'll show you how to get the FIB car. This car looks pretty awesome with the sirens on. Although you can't save this car permanently in your garage, but I'll show you an easy way to get it. The cool thing about this car is like it's not like any other car. If you drive an opposite direction on the road, people will not curse you, instead they give you way. Kind of like show respect to an FIB or an officer of the law, which I think is pretty cool. So without further ado, let's go straight into the video. Alright, firstly you need to own an arcade and already started the Diamond Casino Heist. You also want to open your interaction menu and set your spawn location to last location. Then head over to your heist board and then you want to start the heist prep called Hacking Device. You will then will spawn outside. If you're wearing your original clothes, this might not work. So you have to retry again. So the quickest way to retry is to go to creative mode. Go to your menu, go to online and enter creative mode. And then just exit creative mode. And you have to repeat the whole process. Enter your arcade, go to the heist board and start the hacking device prep mission. You should be able to get it right once your character spawn in this black suit. It means you're good to go. So now I'm just going to call my mechanic to call my Mark 2 because this is the easiest vehicle to do this quest. Alright, before that you need to head over to the nearest ammunition store. You want to go to the clothing section here right to the far right. There's an outfits area, so now you want to equip the outfit that you want to put the badge on. As you can see, I have a couple of outfits already equipped with the FIB badge, so I'm going to try this one. Once you equip the outfit, then you want to go to the quest location. Alright, once you arrive there, you just want to kill everyone. And then um, you want to pick up the FIU badge from one of the dead bodies there. Alright, now you have it. You have the FIB batch. So in order to save this, instead of completing the quest, you want to head over to the nearest ammunition store. Go ahead to the same outfit clothing uh, section and then you want to save this outfit. Once saved, this outfit with the FIB batch will be permanently yours. You can use it whenever you want. Next, instead of uh, completing the task, you want to just go to creative mode and then exit. This way you can keep redoing the hacking prep mission to do it for your other outfits. Alright, next I'm going to show you how to get the FIB car. Firstly, head over to the LSIA, as shown on the map right here. Then you want to call your mechanic and call the Armored Kuruma, because this is the best vehicle for this task. I'm 
bring it to you. Then you want to request a job from either Simeon or Gerald, but you don't have to accept the job yet. Save it for later. Now open your interaction menu. You will hey, need to register as a CEO. And then go to VIP work. Choose hostile takeover and ensure you choose LSIA as the location. And then click on start. All right, you started the mission. Go ahead and grab your armored Karuma and head to the location with the red briefcase here. The location that you want to head to is this hangar. Go in with your armored Karuma and kill everybody and do not take the briefcase. Instead, take the FIB car and drive it outside of LSIA. I'm just gonna find the parking area nearby here and then once you reach a spot you want to open up the jobs and accept the Simeon or Gerald job that you have requested earlier once you enter the job quickly exit the job you can do this by right clicking in and press enter sometimes the police sirens will be off sometimes it will be not so if the sirens are still up you just want to let your character die and then quickly run to the last spot that you died, which is like a black X. The FIB car should be around there. So if your FIB car is badly damaged or you just want to have like a brand new FIB car, I'm going to show you this trick on how to repair it. So first thing you want to open your interaction menu and choose highlight options and then choose jobs and ensure that you want to set all jobs to custom and ensure all the jobs below it are set to show. Then you should be able to see these blue icons throughout the map. So just head over to the nearest one. Once you reach a spot, then you drive over to the blue circle and then press F to exit the vehicle and quickly spam E or join job. Once you join the job, quickly exit the job. Once you're out of the job, you'll notice that you're on the blue circle, but there's no FIB car. Do not panic. Just walk away from the blue circle. And turn around, there you go, voila. You'll see your FAB car without any scratches or dents. So if you happen to wreck your FAB car and you want to repair it, you can use back this method. All right, I'm going to show you some info about the FAB car. Firstly, you cannot drive it into LS Customs or any workshop. You also cannot own this car even if you use any glitches out there because Rockstar has blacklisted this car. Whenever it's in your garage, they will automatically delete it. However, you can drive it over to the nearby car wash. Car wash is fine. If you want to roleplay a clean FIB car, you can do it. Also, as I said earlier, civilians will respect you as an office of the law. Like if you at the public places, they will just give you way and show respect to you instead of just cursing you. The police will not give a crap about you though, it's, they treat you like a normal person, even you have the badge and the car. I've tried entering the police compound using the FRB badge, and I still got police wanted stars, so it doesn't really matter. So that's it for today's video. 
I hope you enjoy role playing as an FIB agent in GTA Online. Feel free to drop a like and sub. It will mean a whole lot to me. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.